Yo, what's up, my mullet sharp here, bringing you guys another video for today, and if you guys follow any of us on Twitter, whether it be me, Moho, Sesson, or just any professional player in general, or maybe Keemstar with his drama alert tweets, uh, you probably know that last night we released Assassin off the team, um, Moho told me, well, I guess I was, I was asleep when it happened, but Moho uh, told me that he went over to the house and told him, and you know, he, he was going to wait, hold on, let me meet these dudes. He was going to wait for him to go home. Uh, Assassin had planned after Kai Champs that he was going to move back home uh, to New York. You know, he's moving in with his girlfriend. And uh, he the, the, fear house, the fear house is not ready. So, it basically, he just wanted to get out of there. Uh, so, he's leaving Wednesday. And, and Moho said that he wanted to wait until uh, he went home. But, I guess, he decided to tell him last night. But, basically, I, I've been getting a lot of hate tweets. Especially Moho. Moho said he's been getting a lot of shit for it. Uh, and that's really what... He said, you know, if he does go through with this, he is going to get a lot of shit for, you know, dropping Assassin. Because uh, ever since Call of Duty 4, everyone has seen, you know, has told Moho and, and Assassin that uh, without without Assassin, fear is nothing. You know, he carries fear and, you know, Moho sucks and all this stuff. Uh, and so th that's basically what we've been getting. You know, I've been getting a lot of tweets saying, oh, you and Moho are Magunda. John left. Assassin got dropped. You guys are hopeless. All this shit. And I just want to kind of clear up, you know, why we made the decision we made. It's not like, it's not like it says he's a bad player. And that's not the reason why he got dropped. It, it wasn't like he played bad at Chance. It wasn't like he played bad at Dallas. Uh, and, and that's not really the reason why he got dropped. Uh, and I just want to give you guys kind of a background first. Uh, if you look that, you know, me, Mo, and Assassin have been together. You know, we teamed together since Call of Duty 4, you know, off and on. Uh, you know, there's, there's been times when Moho's off, been off the team. Uh, there was a time in MW3 when Assassin was off the team. Uh, and, and, and there's just been different times when we teamed together. And we we formed this team with Ricky uh, at the end of MW3. You know, I came back, I uh, quit playing MW3 and decided to start playing again. I hit up Moho and I started playing with them for the Old Spice thing. And, um, all right, what's this guy doing back there? And we decided to just take this team in the Black Ops 2 with me, Moho, Sess, and Ricky. Now, uh, we didn't really play as much as I would have liked to in the beginning. You know, Sesson at school, he, he was still in New York and he was going to college. And uh, there were some nights when he didn't get off. And then so uh, he, he didn't get off of, of school till late. So we didn't, we didn't really play. And so that was kind of our excuse for that team when we lost Fred Cup. We lost Fred Cup. And, you know, our excuse was, you know, we didn't play. We didn't really know what we were doing and and, and so on. So we, we dropped Ricky from that team. We said, you know, our play styles didn't match, which it didn't. We didn't have an anchor on the team. No one on the team anchored. Uh, you know, me and Moho ran subs, Assassin and Ricky. I don't. I think Assassin used a sub, but he would, like, switch off, and Ricky was supposed to anchor. Uh, and no one really anchored. So we dropped Ricky, and we asked Dito, you know, Dito, can you anchor? Can you do this and, and that? And we picked up Dito, and uh, Dito was supposed to anchor. And same thing happened with that team. We didn't really play that much, uh, and we went to UMG, and we didn't have an anchor. <laughs> and we came, like, ninth place. We lost hardpoint like it was our job. I think the only team we beat on hardpoint was Obey. Uh, actually, no, we beat Obey, and we beat Envy on, on, on the first hardpoint we played them on. Hardpoint raid. So uh, with that team, you know, we – once again, we weren't good. Uh, and, you know, Dito, Dito is a solid player. He's a good player. It's not like Dito is a bad player. But we dropped – or, or Dito, Dito left and said, you know, we don't – we have no idea. You guys have no idea what you're doing. You guys don't know how to play. I want to join a team that knows what they're doing. Uh, and, and at the time, we kind of took offense to that because we're like, oh, what the hell? What do you mean we don't know how to, what we're doing? You know, we felt like we knew what we were doing. Uh, but I guess – he was he was kind of right because once again we didn't have an anchor we didn't have set roles uh, I don't really know who I, I guess Dito was supposed to anchor that event uh, but then like I ended up switching up to an assault rifle and doing all this shit so I don't I don't really know what we what we were doing at that event but once again it, it was a case in point that we like we didn't play enough and we weren't prepared and and we didn't know what each other was doing so then Dito left and then Dito wanted to come back. And we didn't really want Dito back because we kind of took offense to him saying we didn't know what we were doing. And we are like, you know, we don't want a player like this on our team. Uh, so we're just going to sketch and not re willing to work it out. When in, actually, in actuality, he did want to come back and work it out. So I'll give him that. But got rid of Dito uh, because we had we had plans uh, of getting John. Now, John was on Fariko, the team that came in third at UMG. I think they came in third. 
I think it came in third or fourth. I don't know. But came in top three, I think, at UMG. And, you know, Freak was a good team. Killa, it was Killa, John, Too Quick, and um, Karma. You know, that was a good team. And we, we got John. You know, APOC has, like, some hold over John. I don't know. Uh, but it seems like to me APOC can just get John to leave any team. And we got John to leave for Rico and join us. And at the time, everyone was like, you know, oh, John's the best player in the game. John's John's really good. John's, you know, the greatest. He's the GOAT. Greatest of all time, baby. All this stuff. And we picked up John. And we scrimmed with that team. And, and knowing that, uh, it was like... We knew John wasn't an assault rifle player. We didn't. We had no intentions of putting him on the team and making him an assault rifle player to anchor. Uh, so we're like, you know, John's too good of a player to pass up on. If he wants to join our team, you know, we'll we'll switch things up. So I started. I quit using some machine guns and I started playing the anchor role. Uh, and, and we were scrimming and shit just wasn't working out. Uh, and, and if you if you want to know my personal opinion, you guys can argue with me in the comments or uh, any other pro players can argue with me in the comments. Um, the way that there's two ways I think you can play this game. Uh you can play this kind of the the Freako way, uh where you have someone a dominant anchor like Parasite, you know, sitting in the back controlling it, uh you know, or like Unite, you know, they have Clacer sitting in the back controlling it and, and then, you know, half the time they have three submachine gun dudes running around just putting constant pressure on people. Or you can play it kind of like the envious way where you have AR setting up around the hill and and doing that. Well, the problem with our team was is uh, we had Assassin switch up to an assault rifle, uh, and he wanted to use you know, he wanted to use an assault rifle, but he didn't want it. But he wanted to be in the hill. So it was like, I, I when I was anchoring, you know what what you're supposed to do is you have you have someone anchoring, and then you have your other assault rifle player getting cutoffs, making sure you know people aren't coming coming up to where the anchor is, and then also helping people in the hill, just kind of like a support player helping out in different directions and, and doing things that way. Um, this guy on my team is Magunda, by the way. And so, we had, half the time it was me trying to anchor alone, just holding out everything, and then we'd have three people on the hill, and it was just a big clusterfuck. Uh, so then, you know, eventually we convinced, we tried, you know, we talked Assassin into being like, alright, you're gonna anchor, uh, I'm gonna run assault rifle outside the hill. Actually, no, that's not even what happened. We had, we were gonna try to have Assassin anchor, and then us run, me, John, and Moho run submachine guns and put pressure on people. Uh, and then they updated the, the submachine guns, and that kind of fucked our team because we were at Dallas not knowing, you know, people were switching up to MP7, the Vector, Scorpion, MSMC, PDW. No one knew what they were using on our team, uh, so that kind of messed us up. And we went to Dallas, we came ninth, and, you know, from then, we, we kind of realized that John wanted to leave the team. Uh, we didn't really, you know, we, but he, he was locked on the team for, for champs, we knew that. Uh, so we're like, you know, if we do get a chance, he probably won't leave. But, you know, it was in the back of our mind that he wanted to leave. We could tell uh, just by the way he was acting. And so this is kind of a long story. That's why I wanted to do a video. I, w I wanted to tweet something. Mo, Mo was like, you know, I'm getting a lot of shit, but it's too early for me to tweet something. So I said, you know, what, I'm going to make a video and I'm going to explain this. But this is kind of long, but it's a good topic for a video. So, you know, we kind of knew John was going to leave. Uh, the whole time at Kai Chance, we were making jokes to him about, oh, so what's, uh, what are you and APOC doing? You know, we even, Moho's, uh, John signed into Moho's phone uh, on his Twitter, and he didn't sign out. And, like, Moho looked at his DMs and saw that he was, you know, DMing with Too Quick. You know, and they're like, uh, what about the plan? Or, you know, we'll talk more after this event. Let's just focus on this weekend. Well, it, it's crazy to me that they're even talking about that before a million-dollar tournament. But that's besides the fact. Uh, so, at the event, you know, we came fifth. Which isn't isn't bad, you know. We beat all the teams in our pool, which we had a pretty hard pool. We had Curse, Frico Dragons, and the the Stand, which was the Puerto Rican team. Uh, we beat all those teams, and we even beat them on hard points. Which, you know, we at Dallas we only won one hard point, and that was against uh, I forgot what the team was called. It was like FOD Baker and all them, but we were winning hard points and. You know, we were, we were playing good. Assassin was anchoring. He was sitting in the back. That was what we kept saying. Like, you know, we'll do good at this event as long as, you know, Assassin, you know, sits in the back and makes sure he's the anchors. Uh, and, and that's just kind of, you know, as, as long as he doesn't stray off and run into the hill and do stuff like that. Now, when we played against VVV, we got we got hijacked, which isn't really a map where, where someone can anchor on. Uh, but we just got destroyed by them on that map because everyone, everyone on their team ran shotties. Uh, and so, 
we lost that hard point to them. And then I forget what the other hard point was. It might have been raid. Yeah, I think it was raid. Raid hard point. Uh, but you know, especially especially me, I, I definitely saw it in, in that you know in that hard point. Uh, you know, and and like I said, this is not me like talking shit on Assassin and saying he's a bad player. He's not a bad player, but this is just me saying like what Assassin wants to do and like how his play style is doesn't really work with how our team is. Uh, he he wanted to you know he he kept running into the hill and he wants to run into the hill and that uh, for our team just just didn't work because we already had John and Moho doing that and it's just not you know. To me, to me, it's not a good idea to run into like raid kitchen with an AR, and then I mean, I know you can whip out your pistol and get one kill, but it's just, to me, it's more practical to have the AR dude sitting outside, uh, and, and watching the back and watching the front than having them running there with one pistol. So you know, we lost, we lost both hard points to BBV, we lost our hard point to Envy, we lost our hard point to Optic, and that's where you know I was just like. Honestly, we got fifth, and I said we got fifth based on luck. You know, there was just you know, certain timing. You know, where Assassin would catch the player running the flag, like against Curse, he he caught the player that was about to cap the flag, uh, and shot him in the back. Like that's just timing. The fact that they didn't get a cutoff and, and you know and stopped him, uh, it, that's just all timing and luck. And then there was like a time against Curse where John stopped the flag, and then uh, there was. Uh, Against VVV, we beat the only reason why we beat them on CTF. It was overtime. They had two sentries in the back, and John threw a smoke, and he 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 took he grabbed the flag through the smoke, and one of the sentries killed one of the VVV players. Like they killed their own player. I was on top train. I killed another dude, and so John ran it down the middle and got it far enough to where he died. Him and Moho died. This one mid train, uh, and then Assassin grabbed the flag. I jumped up. The guy mid train couldn't get me, uh, and then but. At, at that time, Assassin ran away, and then Assassin killed the last dude on flag and kept it. Uh, that's that's what I'm talking about. Like it, it was just kind of, you know, luck and, and timing. And to me, you know, either way, it, it could have gone either way. We could have placed uh, a lot worse than we did, but you know, I'm glad we placed fifth and and what we did. But uh, to me, it, it was it was all luck, and I don't really like going into events based on luck. Uh, you know, I like to go at least. You know, be able to win one hard point. I know, like our S and D game wasn't as strong as it was at Dallas when we, our our, our S and D and CTF game wasn't as strong at Kyle Chance as it was at Dallas because before Dallas we scrimmed rotation, uh, and then after we went to Dallas and lost all the hard points, all we scrimmed was hard point the whole time because we're like, you know, we need to figure this shit out. So our other games lacked because of that. All right, that's enough. That's a fucking enough. I ran out of ammo. So our other games like because of that, and we lost some S and Ds. We got shit on by MV. We got shit on by Optic, and so on. And we ended up placing fifth. And we talked to John, and you know we were like, even even John agreed. You know, he was like, you know, we should drop Sess and, and get someone like too quick. Uh, so that's why we were like, you know, we thought John was gonna stay, and you know we would drop Sess and be me, John, Mo, and too quick, and too quick with anchor. Like we we kind of said, you know, we need an anchor. We need someone who is a, a dominant anchor, you know, dedicated to only doing that, only playing that role. Uh, but John ended up leaving after the event, and Moho, you know, told me he's like, you know, what, I don't think I don't think we should drop Assassin. Uh, and then you know, I said he he, he didn't want to drop Assassin, and he and he wanted to pick up Pac-Man. And I said, you know, just because John left shouldn't change the fact that you know we all agreed. That that the player that he, that he should be gone, you know, it shouldn't change the fact that that we wanted that to happen, uh, and that that's how we should have done. And, and Moho Moho was he was all you know about being loyal, and he's like, you know, I can't do that to assassin. He's my dude, and you know, we need to at least give him a chance, and all this stuff. And uh, we tried. I, I guess Moho tried to talk to him. I, I haven't really talked to assassin or John since Call of Duty Championship. I think we scrimmed one time with Pac Man, and that was it. I haven't talked to John since, and I, I think I've only talked to Assassin once. Um, oh, we're about to lose, but the fact the the point the point of being is like we didn't really talk. It was mainly Moho talking to him because Assassin is over at the Fear House right now. Uh, like I said, he's going home Wednesday, and um, so it's, it's mainly Moho talking to him. And he and he said that you know he talked to Assassin and, and said you know would you mind running a submachine gun and letting Sharp and, and another player run assault rifle. Uh, you know, how would you feel about that? And he, he just said, you know, he wanted to run assault rifle. He didn't really feel running a submachine gun. And Mo was like, you know, I gave him a chance. 
but then he still won the scrim. He won. He won the scrim with like Peck man, and you know, try try to talk assess, and then to, you know making sure he stayed out of the hill. And I don't know. I guess Mo, Mo told me that he talked to other people in the community, other other people from other teams. I'm not going to mention any other you know, what their names are, but he said he talked to them, and they all told him. He, he basically he hit them up and he said, you know, what do you guys think is the is the wrong with our team? Uh, and, and all of them said, you know, you guys, you guys need to change things up. You guys need an anchor, uh, assassin. You know, this just, this isn't assassin's game. Which I don't, I don't agree with that. I don't think this, I don't, I don't think assassin is bad at this game. Uh, I think it's just that our roles, the way, the way that we play, or the way that he wants to play, it doesn't really mix with, you know, how the fact that we have someone like Moho on the team, uh, that that's always in the hill. You know, uh, Moho. Is a player like, like when we had Moho and John, those are players that were in the hill and running around. Uh, and Sesson and wants to use an assault rifle and go in the hill, and I don't really know uh, where that works, but that that's just kind of the whole thing. So, all these people tweeting us saying, Oh, Sesson carried, you guys are gonna be Magunda. Um, someone just sent me a fucking message, Why did you guys drop Assassin? Well, you can watch this video. Um, it's not, it's not because Assassin's bad, it's because his play style does not, does not match with you know what what we need to do and what we're trying to do. Um, so that's really all I wanted to say. Man, sucks for yours falling apart. What? Like, what are you talking about? As far as who we're going to be picking up, I don't know. I hope this long video, I hope you guys stayed to the end of it and, and listened to it and, and actually took in what I was saying and understood what I was saying and didn't just take it as hate. And, and think that I'm hating on Assassin, but, you know, Assassin's my dude, but there, there are certain things that need to be done for a team to succeed, and uh, people need to get dropped. I've been dropped from Fear before, and I don't hate any of the people on Fear. Uh, it, it's just things things need to happen. People people need to, you know, get over it. Quit saying Fear is Magunda now. Uh, because, if, actually, if you watch Call of Duty Championship, if you watch it at all, uh, people keep saying Moho's bad. Uh, the only thing I would say, I, I even told Moho this, I was like, the only thing your big issue is, is search and destroy, you're usually the one getting first blooded, uh, that, that would be, you know, something that I would t say Moho needs to work on, because, um, I mean, and, and it is like a reckless play style that he, that he plays, where it works sometimes, but it, it doesn't work, uh, like, I think when we played against Curse, Rizma hit him, like, five rounds in a row with a nade, uh, and, and it's just like, sometimes that doesn't work, um, and you know, people saying John Kerry, John didn't even do the best on our team it was like we were all doing the same uh or or like someone on the team would be doing bad and, and like everyone would be doing the same i don't think anyone any one game one player would like just carried the whole entire team and was just outstanding everyone uh so let me know what you guys think in the comments uh please give this video a like add to your favorite subscribe you're not subscribed i'm about to get 30,000 subscribers that's pretty cool um, if you guys have any more questions, then you can leave them in the comments, or you can tweet me at Fierce Sharp, whatever you want to do. Once again, this is not, this is not a hate video, like, saying this says and sucks, this is just a video explaining, because everyone is fucking asking me, and when I stream, everyone is asking me. This is just a video explaining why we made the decision we made, and just kind of the whole story behind it, that, you know, ever since this game came out, we haven't had an anchor, uh, and, you know, we have me, Moho, and Assassin, and we always... I don't know. There's not really anchors are anchors are slim picking out there. There's not really too many anchors out there you can get. So, um, I don't know. I don't really know. But we needed a change, and it, and it happened. So deal with it. Fear fans out there. This is your boy Sharp. I'm out. Peace.